welcome back to another video here for the upcoming new moon in Pisces. Um, it's going to take place at 23 degrees Pisces. The sun will conjunct Neptune 20 degrees. And then Venus will conjunct Neptune during the new moon. Um, they'll be at one degree apart. And then they'll move closer after um, the new moon begins, you know, the shift. Um, the sun and moon are meeting up to change or shift the way that we unravel, undo, undress, um, expose our dreams. So, yeah. Um, we have a one, two, three, four position. Um, number one, what is the underlying situation during? this new moon and we have uranus number nine genius um we may have a grand beyond grand beyond grand idea or many of them but all this aquarius energy trying it over to gemini and so it's no coincidence we have want to you know keep our awareness to being gemini i think 15 which is a six so we want to be responsible for what we are thinking um not to judge yourself or to condemn yourself but to understand that you know what you think and say is a reflection of yourself and reminding yourself about that with other people as well and it helps to not take things so personal with pisces being a water sign um you can sense how other people feel and you want to be aware of when your feelings change because you might be thinking thoughts that are not yours based on the feelings of others around you so you want to make sure you constantly tap in and reflect with yourself and your mind and heart so uh, one way we what we should be using is our fifth house creativity 29 which breaks down to um one no two eleven so um because nine turns into zero so it's a two um eleven to fifth house creativity um what is the maybe nine is i so j is t and k is 20. <laughs> what am I trying to do? S T T the letter T. Okay, so um, yeah, I don't. Whatever. Anyways, uh, we want to utilize our fifth house of creativity. Um, again, we have duality here, drama, reflecting one and the other. Um, understanding why or how it is divided into two and not one because um, you see here the two faces one is up and one is down like understanding the bridging of how they work together um, has a lot to do with how we perceive it and with the North Node being a Gemini, it's how we're meant to be guided to receive information, how we're guided to learn things. Are you paying attention to how you learn things? And once once you learn them, what do you think? What How has your thinking changed? So we can show how our thinking has changed or how we learned or grew in some form or another from you know, youthfulness to op opposing energy, soft note, Sagittarius, a more expansive way of doing things, um, creating balance, again, creativity, but um, the outcome here is 28 fourth house roots, so in the end, you know, we're pulling up emotions we are pulling up emotions during this new moon, but they're new. 
So we have a new in like geniusness. Um, we've learned something. We've come to the end of the astrological year, Pisces season, and we're about to start anew. So um, number nine is about endings, but it's about the wisdom you receive and what is no longer in understand how everything you thought about it is was just a reflection of who you were and now you get to reflect something else in your mind and be one with understand that you can be one with both sides there is no disconnection it's just you're more intentional about what you choose to create now that you are aware of your dark and light that you've been carrying uh, mostly with the dark moon going through Aquarius what came from the opinions of others which is you know opposite of the fifth house so now that you we all honestly got this Aquarian Gemini trying going on using that air trying will help us to you know have better thinking to be you know, act on things that are about expanding our creativity so that we're able to ground deeper into, you know, the seeds that have been planted within us that we intentionally planted in our coming here. We already knew what we were supposed to do, what we were, who we were supposed to be, and we chose two vibrations that were coming together and we chose to come through them to demonstrate what we needed to do in order to remember who we were so let's look at some um, clarifiers um, so first of all at the bottom we have the uh, Seven of Pentacles, so Saturn and Taurus, and of course we still got the square going on, kind of, sort of, it's a degree away during the new moon, but, um, it's three on three day, represent Detroit, um, the Seven of Pentacles, Saturn and Taurus, is about being watchful of your, re what you do with your resources, time, energy, money, um, your belongings, your physical, material possessions. Oop. Oh, well. Um. Okay, two of cups. What are you giving away? What are you taking in? Okay. So, um, what I was picking up to with this new moon and the square happening with this, I think, Gemini is don't overanalyze because of the square. We don't want to overanalyze things, people, or places that we are in, enamored with because we don't want to send ourselves down a tizzy. Um, this is about finding a new way to love who you are when, where you are now without being, who you are, finding ways to discipline yourself that show how much you do care about your individuality just being who you are right now in the present moment so that when you start to continue to grow um and here we have an exchange exchange and exchange when we start to exchange we will know exactly what we're getting if we're getting our worth or not and you won't have to you know assess it too much so we got the nine of pentacles virgo venus and virgo opposite energy of this right now the nine of pentacles is venus and virgo so we have a genius idea with these two nines here on how to grow something maybe a business it can be a relationship. We, we're getting a lot of different ideas on how to grow everything in our life, honestly. That's what I think, how we can create a whole new foundation. We have new dreams. 
that have come to us to let us know, you know, this is how we're supposed to be growing. And, you know, we get the message and now we're ready to, you know, you've reached the harvest. We've reached the end of the year. We've reached a peak of knowledge, the number nine. And it's time to start over every season. And we're going to take all these seeds that we've acquired in 2020 and use them for the 2021. Okay, so we got a Gemini card for the Gemini card, Ten of Swords. So we go from nine to ten. And this is, um, I see this as being other people's ideas or opinions. That's naysayers, people talking, and social media definitely, comments. Um, you know, followers, bots, you know, things that kind of destroy one reality by making us realize the truth about another and letting the truth that it is you know allowing that thought to soak in or to you know stimulate us to learn something about ourselves and at the same time detaching from that thought so it doesn't have to define define who we are or our personality it could just be you know a passing thought because like I was saying that every thought is ours and sometimes we pick up on energy of other people and make it our own when we really don't have to if it applies great if it don't let it go so creativity we got the four of wands definitely creative energy is the Aries and Venus card so um, again coming together divine masculine divine feminine becoming one with ourselves grounding our creativity using the expression of what's in our heart to build our actual sense of joy and happiness okay and then lastly um with the roots we got a water card king of cups cancer scorpio piscean energy most definitely the roots is related fourth house is related to cancer but um moon energy so we find in a deeper way to love yourself be grateful for yourself be kinder to yourself um, learn how to ride the waves because sometimes we do have moments where you know it's just time to upgrade and you accept that you know this moment had to happen and then your realization and then it's like okay i'm chilling again i'm at peace you know i have kindness in my life i'm grateful you get to start over and grow the garden of self-love all over again okay and then back to this at the bottom it is like the relationship you always wanted it is like the business you always wanted to be a part of it is like the success you always wanted to have it is the recognition you always wanted to get but it's just you doing it for yourself instead of waiting for someone to give it to you but the thing about the Uranus and Taurus is that and even the Piscean energy itself is that it can show up as another person or in the form of something physical like a physical demonstration that helps you trigger the ideas like having a muse or is gaining inspiration for something from something that is physical and using it to discipline yourself to think and learn and respond to things in certain ways that assist you to grow in how you think so that you can be more responsible with um, changing your mind to stay fixated on something that is from the heart. And therefore, that's where you grow. You grow from the heart. 
And then you get to look back and notice the growth that was done before you start this process all over again next year <laughs> with all the gems that you created. Facts, figures, graphs, notes, books, notebooks. So yeah. So the collective advice is life purpose and create and express. So we got creativity here. It's time to get creative on how we're going to manifest this big, huge new paradise of life that we've been plotting on for the last 30 years or so. And we're going to create it and express it because it's part of our life purpose it's part of we, we it's the seeds we planted and that we're continuing to plant as well so yeah it's time to start let your pinnacle start growing some more use what you've learned use the lesson you learned that you you already know trust that you know what to do your higher self is guiding you to victory Don't let the isolation that has taken place in the last year confuse you or make you feel lonely or disconnected emotionally because, again, here with this Gemini energy, you, you are responsible for what you think. So be careful with your dreams. Because you're thinking them. You're creating it. Alright, thank you so much for tuning in to this New Moon in Pisces reading. Um, I will be available for readings at a pop-up up on March 27th. That's going to be in um, Dearborn. The information is available on my Instagram account, so if you're following me, um, there underscore underscore lemons with four S's. Um, you'll see the Spring and Hustle Fling event Saturday, March 27th from 2 to 8 p.m. So um, you can come, network, do some raffling, shopping locally, and it's a free admission. So um, definitely come by. Um, the event creator. Zay Chavez will be in the building with her Yum Body Butter Shop and Perfect Eats, as well as other um, others of us who are also vendors. Um, the Bag Collection, um, Kara's Kitchen, Dev's Treats, Cookies Closet, Sabrina Co, you know, and more. So just come on and holla at your girl, as well as everyone else there, you know. Come network, come network. Come see the geniusness that is your community. All right, so that's all for today. Um, this Wednesday, wear yellow. It's Wednesday. Get that air flowing, you know. Get that air flow. Enjoy nature and peace. <laughs>